Hey guys, let's talk about food addiction for a bit, okay? Um, I apologize right now if this clip and the next clip doesn't mesh well. I kind of messed up with some things and so I'm doing my best to band-aid it together, okay? All right, here we go. Thanks for watching. Watched Belinda's video. Um, I think it was yesterday I watched it. And she was concerned about, you know, having a food addiction and, you know, can you be addicted to food without having any, you know, emotional, or not emotional, but, you know, issues as a kid and whatnot or whatever. So, um, I don't know if you remember, but I recently started a food addiction group or I started going. It only meets every other Saturday and I can't go this Saturday because I'm doing that 5k. But I thought, you know, I'm gonna look online and see what I can find just because I'm curious and because I'm thinking when I go back to school if I have to do or when I have to do an English paper or something like that, I might do something on food addiction. So it's kind of like Advanced research. Um, researching in advance. Whatever. <laughs> so, I found a website called foodaddicts.org, and it's basically uh, kind of like a support, like um, Alcoholics Anonymous type thing. Um, but I read on there, so I'm going to tell you some things that I read and give you the site, because obviously I did not, I mean, this this is not, you know, I didn't create it. I'm not trying to plagiarize or anything like that. So, I'm citing my sources, okay? <laughs> All right, so medical literature tells us that if someone weighs 100 to 150 pounds too much, then that person has just a 1 to 2 percent chance of losing that weight and keeping it off over a sustained period of time. That depressed me because I am definitely fallen into that category. Anyway, so I, I, I don't know, it made me sad. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I did some more research and on CNN.com, you know, they do medical articles and whatnot. Um, certain foods, and this is not going to be a surprise to a lot of you, I'm sure. Certain foods can trigger addictive behavior just as drugs can. Like nicotine, cocaine, heroin, um... And, unfortunately, unlike drugs of abuse, food is necessary for survival. And that's why food addiction, um, there's such a big debate on whether, on whether you can be addicted. You know, because food is required to survive. And, you know, there's a lot of naysayers that say that you, you know, it's impossible to be addicted to food. But I didn't read any of that. I read the other part. <laughs> um... There was a study, this is, I found this kind of interesting. There was a study done on 12 obese men and um, given two milkshakes. Both of these shakes had the same amount of calories, protein, fat, and carbs, and they tasted equally sweet. However, one of the shakes had a much higher glycemic index. And these men were also given a brain MRI. Um... After the consumption of the higher glycemic shake, um, as expected, the blood sugar levels surged and then crashed, leaving them hungry within a few hours. I'm reading my notes. I took notes. How geeky is that? Anyway. Um, and then from the result of the MRI brain scans um, after the shake consumption, they could show that these shakes activated the nucleus accumbens. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, which is also triggered by addictive drugs and behaviors like gambling. Um, another study done in 2012 found that obese people lose their sensitivity to leptin, which is a hormone released by the fat cells in the body and regulates feelings of hunger and fullness. And they say leptin may also play a role in the substance addictions 
by modifying the body's reward responses to things like alcohol or cocaine. So, limiting these very highly processed carbs could help people avoid overeating. There's a lot of people out there that would probably agree with that. Um, and I'm not going to say that I don't agree with that. I, I do. I just find that it's hard for me to completely avoid some of those foods. And, and that just goes to show that um, I have signs of food addiction, right? I mean, um, and then they raise the question, why do overweight people continue to overeat when they know intellectually that reducing calorie intake would be healthier, and they've tried many times to do so. Is it merely a lack of willpower? Great debate. Can food be addictive? We could go on and on with conversations. That's all I've read so far. Um, I plan to keep... Whoa, hey, today I can do anything. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think I'm going to do some more reading on that. I mean, I find it fascinating um, I've known all along um, that there's some mental involvement, at least with me, there's some mental involvement with um, the eating and food addiction could very well be a big, huge stumbling block with why I have not been all that successful in weight loss. Um, I'm not going to say I haven't been completely successful because, as you know, I was once 403 pounds, and I'm not anymore. And I'm not too far over 300, but ugh, still. Anyway, I have a long ways to go. I'm now over 40. Things seem a whole lot more difficult. And i got to say that I... I think that I have some food addictions. I may not be addicted to everything, but like I was saying, like I had said to Belinda, um, soda pop, fizzy drinks, I feel like I have an addiction, and it's not the caffeine, because I can drink caffeine-free and be just as equally satisfied. It's the feel of the fizz. It just triggers the happy feelings in my head, I guess. It may sound crazy to some of you, but I'm I'm telling you, I guess it's kind of like how some people like to drink a beer. You know, I don't drink beer. Soda pop is kind of like that to me. Um, chocolate cravings get real heavy around that time of month, so, you know, hormonal cravings too. Uh, anyway, so, I think I gave you some food for thought. Food for thought. <laughs> I don't know what do you think I think um, you should leave some comments below or do a video in response I don't know if you can still do attached video responses but anyway um, and I'm gonna read some more and maybe we'll talk about this more um, some other day I don't know anyway thanks for watching this incredibly long video and thanks for watching and subscribing to me I appreciate it I've gotten a few new ones. I appreciate you all. And I hope you all have an incredible day. Whatever day it is. Wherever in the world you are. I wish you peace and love. And smile. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. See you later, guys. Bye.